Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and here is part 5 of Martian Bacterial Colonists of Earth. So I queried again as to how uh, the Martian colonists that were bacterial could have gotten to the space uh, space ship from Mars and they had said before that others did that for them and now they say that Mars is a, a slave planet and that these others apparently rule them there and so I still don't understand how say if those beings were astral how they could have influenced the physical plane in that way it is possible that the laws of Mars are more warlike or martial more inclined to the black uh, magic than we are and that they obey that more than than planet Earth does in which case it may have been possible for those on the higher astral plane, say, what we call demons and devils, to, to do that kind of manipulation of, um, of the physical plane. Um, I'm reminded also of some work in the Law of One that I haven't actually researched yet, and I'll check into that. I wonder if intelligent uh, infinity has like laws regarding that or the, maybe the black magic that's spoken of there, the magical laws. Good question. So along the line of vectors uh, that V dash 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 D dash 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 a uh, subconscious uh, chant that came around and is still in existence in many places on earth uh, would have had to do with physical illness uh, the vector issue and transmitted sexually I feel and uh, I'm not sure what the purpose of this was unless it was possibly intended to slow down the process of awakening um, which in warlike people might be considered a good goal hard to say that was followed up uh, on by the notion of uh, F U in the A H that kept being chanted over and over again, and I'm guessing that that was intended to put a break on the V dot 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 D dot 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 um, chant because the one would cause more uh, uh, heterosexual sex sex activity, and the other would cause homosexual sex activity which I think, you know, I just don't know what the purpose of that is. Unless it was intended to get to the entire population. I got it. Maybe more communication between the substations because uh, when the moon station went down, do you know about that? The moon station went down. And uh, that was some years back. There was a big, huge turmoil about it. Every, uh, every full moon, there would be like a communication with the moon, the moon base, the spaceship, by all of the space stations. And the beings that did that, I think, were miniaturized demons or, or devils in, I don't know, physical or astral form, I don't know. And in the human bloodstream, right, they were capable of like moving around to the top, that's the thing, to the top, to the, to the crown chakra. And, and there came a point, was it 2013, when um, they couldn't communicate anymore, it was just impossible. And so um, when that communication stopped, then the worldwide transmission stopped. And that uh, right around then, was when the the chant started, the chants that were um, con that caused people to come together in sexual uh, arrangements, and either heterosexual or later homosexual, and and so that might have been a makeshift uh, way of of allowing the, the space stations to communicate. Um, through phys physical means because germs could go in and out of people's mouths during those times and so one space station could communicate with another. 
So I hear that the um, the Martians are using, are storing their memories in rocks. So they have the memories of the very ancient times. And I wonder if that means in crystals. That's a thought. Uh, I heard telepathically last night that uh, the Martian bacteria first found out about uh, the beginnings of life on Earth um, by um, because of volcanic action on Mars. I heard that the volcanoes um, spewed up detritus that had bacteria in them to such a height that they were able to receive communications from the very earliest beings on Earth. Long, long ago, they found out that Earth was habitable because of those, you know, that primordial soup. Did you learn about that in biology? Apparently, it had telepathic ability, and uh, the, it was able to communicate with uh, the Martians a lot that long ago. And somehow, and the question still remains that I'm asking them: How then did they? Because they're very territorially expansive, and they feel that they're a great, beautiful light on Earth. Their presence on Earth is like that. Uh, in their culture, they feel that way, a beautiful white. Not that they don't look like the pictures we have of bacteria. They see the light instead the light of sentience. But anyway, the question still remains, how did they get from Mars to Earth? And, and all I have is a tantalizing lead on that so far. They say the others, the others brought them there, or the others transported them to their spaceship. <laughs> well, that's all on the Martians, per se, for the present. I'm sure others who have found out about this have their own intel to give. And uh, I'm going to put in a separate post information regarding miniaturization of the demon realm, those animals.